I was wrong on my own thoughts. You were wrong because you put your faith in someone else. How bad is that? Bad? Sad? Sad is that? It's sad. It's bad. Sad. It's bad and sad. Yeah. It's, it's like a Dr. Seuss book. It's sad and bad. And I'm so glad that you are so rad. It was, That's not it was anymore. too wet to play. It was too. Um, I'm not going to recite <laughs> the cat in the hat right now, even though I can. I'm not going to because we don't have enough. Uh, right, we don't have enough battery time. or time. Battery or time. For those of you who don't know, our uh, camera has a 20 minute recording limit before it shuts off. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is I would like to uh, congratulate totally not Smokey the Bear! Woo! Can you Are, make confetti? Do you, you ask you that, ask that, that every confetti. single time. And because every confetti single time. is great! The answer is no. Also, do you actually put the names where your hands are? Because we make gestures. Yeah, we're going to put it here. We'll put it here. We'll put it, you know, here. Do you, I, do you actually put them there? I did this time. <laughs> but uh, the, the, second, as well. the second order of business is um, I want to give a shout out to us, uh, mostly to Storytime Girl, uh, because in October she predicted that uh, Stephen would bubble the cluster. Uh, and you can hear that clip, see that clip? Right. Here. They disarm the cluster, whatever things that they have bubble to overcome. The bubble the cluster. They bubble the Nailed it. All right. So, um, we're excited about the upcoming episode. Which one is this one? This one is uh, normal world, regular world, regular life, life world. Life what are you world. doing? Sorry, I was still stunned at the whole, she nailed it in October. <laughs> um, before we get into this, I have a theory that I want to share with you guys. I've talked Woo! briefly about this with you, uh, and I don't know if I talked we to you about it. her most of the stuff we do, so. Uh, everybody's been asking this whole time, when is Steven going to fuse oh, with Oh no, I know gym? this entire argument. When is Steven going to fuse with the, the, the gym? The entire case. I was 100% part of this conversation and I know okay. all of the points. Excellent. Um, can I do it now? Can I make the point? Yes. Steven has fused. Fused with Malachite in the dream state. He went into the fusion also, on the way down to the cluster, he was experiencing the emotions and the feelings of the cluster. This is a form of fusion. Remember what he was saying? Oh, I can't stretch out. I need to stretch out. It's dark. I need to stretch. All of those things where he's experiencing those. If you watch that descent, there's several times where he's in tune with the with the cluster, and of course the obvious one where he goes off on his own little thing and Peridot's like, Steven, 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 and he's talking to the cluster. That is fusion. And it's However, not fusion in the way that Greg and Rose fused, or right. didn't fuse, but when we talked about this, we hit on this last video, it's a conversation, and that's mm -hmm. the most essential thing. Right. Because no matter what you're doing in fusion, whether or not you have bodies that can merge into light or whatever, the important part is the conversation. Without that, you don't have fusion, and that's what Steven is doing. I think the biggest part of this is that you can see he's done it with fusions, and he hasn't talked with the fusion, but rather the individuals within the fusion. And since fusions are one entity, that shouldn't really be possible except for the people who are fused together. So I think that really supports this, like when he was talking to Lapis. He wasn't talking to Malachite, he was talking to Lapis. Right. He was talking to the individual gem shard within the cluster. Right, he also spoke with Jasper in that as mm -hmm. well. Um, so that's my thing. Uh, I believe Steven has already fused. It's just a different kind of fusion than the other gems have uh, done in the past. 
so I don't think they have recognized it as such. Uh, and obviously he hasn't fused with Pearl or uh, Amethyst or Garnet, um, or although Garnet would probably be the most likely fusion for him yeah, to be able to do that. considering he's only done it with fusions so far. Right. So then, yeah, without further ado... On that bombshell, <laughs> I'm Huey. I'm Dewey. And I'm Louie. And I don't have <laughs> the remote. And we're still, oh, there it is. When we're not <laughs> searching for the remote. <laughs> searching for the, when we're not making mischief and upsetting our <laughs> uncle or our granduncle, <laughs> we're watching Steven Universe. Same, Same old, old world. About, uh, Is this just the intense down there? We were already a few layers into the Earth's crust when suddenly, whoop ammo, ammo <laughs> the valley! The <laughs> girls cluster then started clawing at the drill. Her hair is so cute. Steven? Hold on a sec. Uh, I'll be right back. Adios. <laughs> Is he gonna lap us? I see you worried about your friend. Come on. I'm dying to hear more about what happened on the ground. <laughs> okay. I'm very excited we get to see Lapis smile for the first time in forever. <laughs> I love that sleeping bag. Yeah. It's like a wacky sack. Lapis, you're okay. Steven, you're leaving. You could always come back to the temple with us and live in the bathroom again. No, thanks. I have seen what goes on in there. <laughs> Besides, I've grown accustomed to this place. And I should probably fix the hole that I made with my giant robot. Mm. Whoa! Lapis! Stephen is always yeah. climbing up to get to emotionally damaged gems. I thought you left. I was leaving. Then I realized I've got nowhere to go. You don't even have to stay in Beach City if you don't want to. Oh, you could live in Surf City or <laughs> Sea City, Aquatown, Bayburg, and that's just the places I know of off the top of my head. <laughs> I can show you around. Really? Ocean Town? Yeah. We, we don't talk about Ocean to live. I really only know the tri-state area, but my phone's got a global positioning system. If you lived in these trees, you could build a giant bird's nest and have squirrels for pets. You could eat acorn pie every night, and when it gets hotter, it rains, you'd be protected by these nice leaves. Leaves? What's this? This must be Empire City. Isn't it cool? So it's this is where Greg was going. Yeah, that's why they say what happens in Empire City never sleeps. So what does happen in Empire City? Well, know. let's see. Hold on. Yeah. Here, here, everybody. <laughs> what are we talking about? 
You? Lovely. Nice to see you, Bonneval. What are you doing here? This is my new home away from home world. No, it's not. It's mine. <laughs> right, Stephen? Uh, Stephen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't well, expect cute. a, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it travel other than log? a love triangle. <laughs> a, a travel log? Oh, you mean the... the... Yeah. Oh. No, Stephen, choose me. No, Stephen, choose me. Who's it gonna be, Stephen? It's like a love triangle, but it's... Without it, the love. It's just it's a, the no, triangle. It's a... Triangle? No, ah, it's... The scaling triangle. God, no! <laughs> no, it's not. It's like a friendship triangle. It's like, so Stephen... Who's your better friend? Huh? <laughs> I, I have no idea what they're talking about. I didn't see any of that at all. Yeah, I silenced my phone. I silenced my phone also. I did not silence my tablet. One of the things I thought was interesting is that the, uh, at the beginning, we saw somebody uh, in Ruby's flashback in the answer we saw somebody among the the crystal gems who the homeworld gems. the homeworld gems thank you that looked like lapis and there was left open the possibility that lapis was there for that meeting one of the things that i thought was really interesting and i saw a video about this i saw a theory video about this and uh, none of the homeworld gems were using weapons Oh yes, I saw that video. Hmm? None of the homeworld gems were using weapons. If you think back to the confrontation between your terrifying renegade Pearl, which is my absolute favorite line of all time. Yeah, I think that's really interesting. I hadn't noticed that or considered it until you pointed it out, but I think that brings up an interesting question. We see the Jaspers use battle axes later on. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, you know, even Lapis just gets, boom, punched, lights out. Right. The theory uh, from, what was the name of the? Uncivilized Elk. Uncivilized Elk was that Pearl was actually the first person to use weapons. I'm sorry, the first gem to use weapons. Actually, the first person to use weapons. Or possibly the first person to use weapons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would imagine something along the lines of, we see a set of human armor in Rose's armory. We see axes, we see balls and chains and stuff. I'm going to go with the theory that humans had a proponent in the rebellion and the gems learned from them, hence them fighting for them. Hmm. Pearl saw people using swords, learned how to use a sword. After she learned how to use a sword, she learned how to project her own weapon. Mm. The yes, weapons are that... not inherent, as right. we see them using their fists. The weapons Although... are a... Oh, no, go ahead. The, the weapons are a manifestation of Earth's tools. They say, hey, this is a great idea. Why don't I make one of those? I, I, will, uh, I will argue one point on that. I will contend one point on that. I will say that Rose was actually probably the first person to summon a shield. weapon. Mm -hmm. with from her gym because of the shield and the shield is basically a concentrated bubble, bubble uh, mm -hmm. or, or portion of a bubble so uh, once she recognizes or once she sees that she can create this as a projection then it becomes a thing where other people or other gems look and see if they can do the same so yeah, there's a little bit of a theory to go off of. You start out the video with a theory, end the video with a theory, give you guys right. something to uh, possibly crunch. So let us do. let us know in the comments. You know, um, watch watch what's his name? Uh, what? Uncivilized Elk. Uh, so watch Elk. Uncivilized Elk. He also has a lot of good Adventure Time stuff. Video uh, about the I don't care about the Adventure Time. <laughs> Don't, yes, but don't, some of our fans Don't say. watch the Adventure Time. No, I'm not <laughs> going to say that. I'm going to edit that did. part out. Let us know in the comments um, if you... Uh, and that's all the way down here. Not right here. Not, yeah, there's no comments, right? Here. Not, but all the way down. All right. Um, let us know in the comments whether or not you agree with us that uh, Steven has already fused, uh, although it's a different kind of fusion, or 
uh, if you have a different theory about the weapon use and summoning and things like that. Until next time. I'm Huey. No, I'm Huey. I'm Huey. I'm Huey. I'm Huey. I'm Huey. <laughs> I'm Huey. You know and I'm busy rewriting the Junior Woodchuck Handbook.